What's up guys, what's up ladies? Yasser here, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of the women's collection from Perfume Depot. So these are Atas, which are meant for women. So I've also done a separate video on Tom Ford collections, which also had about three different perfume oils that are for women. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you can watch it using the above link. So today I'm gonna to talk about the other perfume oils which are specific to women. So like always, I would start with the average ones first and then move on to the recommended ones which are of my personal opinion. So I have four in the list for the average ones and then five in the recommended list. So I'll start with the average ones first. So coming in at number four from the average list is YSL Cinema. So this is more of a rosy, chocolatey and woody kind of smell. So the oil itself is very dark. So it is of a dark rose, some chocolatey feel and woody smell. I'm not a huge fan of this, but if you like the smell of dark rose, chocolatey, woody, then maybe you can sample this out first before you order larger quantities. So that's at number four. So coming in at number three is YSL Black Opium. So this is more of a dark floral, violet flowers, iris kind of smell again i'm not a huge fan of this so if you like dark florals iris and violet flower kind of smell then maybe you can try this one coming in at number two is jasmine noir so this is more of jasmine and white patchouli i don't get anything else in this again not a huge fan of this it's plain simple jasmine and white patchouli so in case you like jasmine fragrance maybe you can sample that out so coming in at number one from the average collection is Lancome Trezor. So this is more of a rosy cardamom, cinnamon and mix of white florals. So if you like that kind of rosy cardamom, cinnamon and a little bit of white floral, then maybe you can try this one out. Again, this is not the best in my opinion, but among the average list, that seems to be a little better. So that's about the average list. Now coming to the recommended list in my opinion. So coming in at number five is Narcico Rodriguez. So I have the designer as well, which my wife uses. So this is a pretty old fragrance and I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't really find this attractive these days because this has a powdery kind of smell, but in a nice way, of course, but smells more like those, you know, ponds and cuticura powder back in the 1980s or 1990s so those days it used to be very popular i don't think people would prefer wearing those in this generation but if i have to compare the designer with this one this smells better to me to be honest and this and the designer does not have any similarity this actually smells better to me when I compare it with the designer. So that's the reason I have placed this in one of my recommended list, but at number five. So the smell of this is citrus, white patchouli, white florals, and in the base you would get some vanilla and musk. That's how this smells. So if you like that kind of smell, you can definitely try this out. So coming in at number four is Creed White. And Creed White smells very similar to creates silver mountain water, which is usually worn by men. So if you can imagine silver mountain water mixed with white florals, that's what this one smells like. So Creed White is a mix of silver mountain water with white florals. So that's at number four. Now coming in at number three is Blooming Bouquet. So this is pretty good among the other women's collection that he has. So the notes in this are rose, jasmine, white lily, some white floral, pink florals. It's a mix of so many floral notes and it is done really nice. It is smooth. It's not too flowery or too potent. It is done very nice, but I would not say this is the best in the collection. So that's the reason I would still place it at number three, but definitely not bad if you like a mix of floral notes as a women's fragrance. So coming in at number two is Jo Malone Ginger Lily. So this one is quite nice. I really like this one. So this smells somewhat similar to Dolce Gabbana, the one because of the ginger note that I get in this one. But of course it is not a men's fragrance because 
This also has lily and some white florals along with ginger cardamom and some woody background. So definitely a good one in my opinion. So sample this out when you buy any 25 ml or above. You might like this if you like Dolce Gabbana the one because the ginger cardamom and that white lily blend is really done nice in this one. So that is ginger lily. Now coming in at number one. Now to be honest this is the best that I have smelt among the Perfume Depot women's collection and that is Turquoise Summer. This is an interpretation of Escada Turquoise Summer. I have smelled the original as well and this one is 80% close to that one. I would even say 85% because it is done absolutely great. It has that beautiful pineapple and raspberry note in the top along with citrus. And then in the base you would get some musky note which is white musk probably. But it is absolutely brilliant guys. This is a must try if you want to try any of the women's fragrance. I would place this at number one among the Perfume Depot women's collection. That is turquoise summer. So if you like pineapple, citrusy and raspberry note in the top with some slight woody background. This is definitely a must try. It is done really classy. You can easily compare this with any designer because the quality of the smell in this one is super class. I would simply rate this 9 on 10 for the quality of smell this has. So in case you're planning to buy any women's fragrance and if you want to try or sample out the others, I would say you can still blind buy this one with 25 ml or above and then sample the rest out because I don't think any women can dislike this one because it is really done well. So that's at number one. So I do have some more of the women's collection which I'm yet to test. So I would do a separate video on that as soon as I am done with the testing because I do not want to randomly talk about any of the fragrance oil that I'm buying. So until then, I would say this is the best of all, turquoise summer. So let me know once you try these or buy these. So see you next time in another video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.